Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Explain channel. Here I am going to discuss details of Haro Suicide Drones. Kindly subscribe Engineering Explain channel. If you have subscribed, kindly share and comment. Here I am going to discuss details of Haro Suicide Drones, also technical specifications, and recently how those uh, these Haro Suicide Drones are in news that is during the operation Sindur to zero that also I'll discuss here the Israel aeronautic aeronautical industry developed Harop is a loitering munition also known as suicide drone designed to be launched from canister and loiter in a designated area for surveillance and reconnaissance. It combines the features of a missile and unmanned air vehicle UAV. Okay, this works as a missile what we can launch to particular target in order to destroy it and unmanned aerial vehicle which can be controlled as a aerial vehicle like that both it can behave capable of detecting and attacking high value targets. It is having the capacity of the detecting as well as the attacking the some high value targets. Key features and capabilities. Loitering capability. Harop can stay airborne for extended periods up to 9 hours. It can fly up to 9 hours in the air while conducting ISR. That during that time flying it can conduct the ISR, that is the intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Those are the its capabilities. When launched from canister, it is designated to be launched from a canister which can be mounted on trucks or naval vessels according to the IAI of the Israel. Human in the loop control. The Harop is operated by a remote mission operator which can select static or a moving targets detected by the drone's EVO. That drone is having the EVO that is electro-optical which will be sense the, the object which will be sense the any target and to reach that target it can be operated by remotely by selecting the static or a moving target. Wide range of target detection. It can detect, recognize, and attack a variety of high value targets. It can attack on the any aircraft, it can attack on the missiles, it can attack on the any UAVs or any other targets like a land based targets. Immunity of to jamming. Harop is designed to be immune to global navigation satellite system that is a GNSS jamming. It can jam the sum of the that networks also. About function, the mission can be aborted if necessary. If the function is already uh, started, then if necessary, that function can be aborted and that can be taken back the, to the original position. That is abortion of the function. Mini Harof. IAI also developed a smaller version, the Mini Harof, for tactical missions, which can be launched from canisters on technical military vehicle vehicles like the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle (JLTV) and has a mission endurance of one hour. That a Mini Harof is having the mission endurance, that is, time of the fly is one hour. Harop drone specification and key features are endurance up to 9 hours, operational range up to 1000 km, stand up launch from the stand up, from the land, or from the novel uh, launch pad, or from any vehicle, it can be launched up to 1000 km. Warhead, it can carry up to the 23 kg of the that detonators for the destroying or reaching the targets. Launch platform, ground vehicles, novel vessels, 
sealed canisters. Those are called navigation GNSS, that is Global Navigation Satellite System Resistant Systems. Sensors EO, Electro Optical, IR Infrared, FLIR, CCD Camera, Anti Radar Homing, all these things it includes. Then another thing about this, the Harop drone, we should know that the Pakistan blamed that India was used Harop drones against it during Operation Sindur recently, but yet not both sides cl officially clarified it. But Pakistan blamed it and yet to from both sides officials that should be cleared. Thanks for watching. If you like, share, subscribe and comment.